watching NBC4 HD. And now, Sue Simmons, Perry Peltz, Janice Hoff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4, live at 5. Sue is joined now by a special guest. Perry, thank you. Christine Ebersol is earning rave reviews for her dual performance in the Broadway musical Grey Gardens, which tells the strange story of Jackie Kennedy Onassis's eccentric aunt and cousin Edith Bouvier Beale and her daughter Edie Beale. We give you a peek. Another winter in a summer time. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We are happy to have Christine here to talk about the role that just may, just may earn her a second Tony Toy Award. Toy. <laughs> your ears. We haven't seen you since Saturday Night Live. It's I so know. Nice to see you. I think there's a picture of Dorian Gray somewhere. So for you, <laughs> no, for you. You look really great. Thank you very much. Now this show is based on a 1975 documentary, uh, which first brought this shocking story of these two East Hampton recluses to our attention. How did you first hear about them? Well, a friend of mine in Los Angeles had told me about the documentary. I was out there shooting a TV series that never went to series, um, and I rented it, and I couldn't stop watching it. I was absolutely riveted by these two women and just saw it morning, noon, and night. So it, it, It's a strange story, sometimes funny, uh, also very sad mm -hmm. uh, to many. Edith and little Edie were to just crazy women, but there are a lot of layers to the story. Mm -hmm. What's your take it's on that? It's very multi-layered. I, I sort of see them as nonconformists. That's really the way I look at yeah. it. Uh, they weren't able to adapt to the changes that were happening around them, and they wouldn't conform. So there they were in this big mansion with no money and a lot of cats. Yeah. Any word on, on why the Kennedys themselves didn't help them out? Well, the Kennedys were related to them by marriage mm -hmm. because it was Jackie Kennedy's father's, Jack, Black Jack Bouvier's sister mm -hmm. and her daughter. So um, actually, Onassis did help them. Uh -huh. He took care of them, and he put on a new roof, and he... Uh, helped repair it when the health department came in and was going to shut it down. Little Edie was supposed to marry Joseph Kennedy Jr. Now, most of us know about him that he was a hero in the war mm -hmm. and, he, and he died overseas. Mm -hmm. This play kind of makes him out to be a jerk. Really? <laughs> <laughs> kind of full of himself. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, I think it's what, what they're trying to portray is that what was expected of him. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of trapped in a way, too, because his father had decided that he was going to be the next president of the United States, and he really had nothing to say about it. So there was all these special rules that had to take place in order for that to occur. So he had to write, you know, marry the right woman mm -hmm. and you know, make sure that, that there wasn't going to be any marks on his reputation. To assure that. All right. Well, I get, all right. I like him now. <laughs> He's my best friend now. Christine, thank you so much for coming by. The thank show you. is called Grey Garden. It's playing at the Walter Kerr Theater on West 48th Street, and you can find uh, show times and ticket information on our website, WNBC.com. The dialogue is fabulous. The music is fabulous, and we thank Christine again. Thanks for having oh, me, Sue. You're welcome. All right, Barry. Thanks, Sue.